Having import errors and no auto completion is not cool when you develop your DAGs with Airflow. That's why I'm gonna show you how to configure Visual Studio Code with Airflow running in Docker to get rid of those errors and warnings and more importantly, have access to the auto completion. Hi and welcome in this new video. My name is Mark Lamati, Head of Customer Education at Aston Mer and Best Selling Instructor on Udemy. And if you want to learn Airflow or stay up to date with it, subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you don't miss anything. First thing first, to follow this video, you need to have Airflow running locally in Docker. And for that, you can use the Airflow Docker Compose file that you can find right there, or you can use the Astro CLI. And if you don't know what is the Astro CLI, it's an open source project to easily run and configure Airflow locally. That being said, once you have Airflow running in Docker, the next step is to go to Visual Studio Code. In the terminal, verify that Airflow is running in the Docker containers by typing either Docker Compose PS if you use the, the Airflow Docker Compose file, or you can use Astro Dev PS if you use the Astro CLI. And as you can see, we have the Docker containers corresponding to our Airflow instance. Okay, Airflow is running. The next step is to install an extension in Visual Studio Code. So for that, you click on extensions and you look for Dev Containers. Then select Dev Containers and make sure that you install Dev Containers. And this extension allows you to open any folder or repository inside the Docker container and take advantage of Visual Studio Code full feature set. Feel free to take a look at the description of this extension, but basically with it, you have access to whatever is running in your Docker containers from Visual Studio Code, so you get the auto-completion and so on. Remember that the reason why you have those import errors and no auto-completion is that Airflow is running inside the Docker containers that Visual Studio Code doesn't have access to. Therefore, this extension will create a new Docker container based on the Docker file that describes your Airflow instance. Basically, you will have from Apache Airflow or the Astro Runtime, if you use the Astro CLI, so that Visual Studio Code has access to the Airflow imports, auto completion, and so on. Let me show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. You just click here in the bottom left corner, and then you select reopen in a container. Then select from Docker file. And if you want to add features in your Docker container, you can do it. For example, you want to install, I don't know, like Python stuff and so on, you can do it. But for now, let's skip this step, click OK. And wait a little bit, as you can see here, Visual Studio Code is adding dev container configuration files and you will get a new window, which is Visual Studio Code running in the new Docker container with Airflow installed. And you can verify that by looking in the bottom left corner, you see dev container existing Docker file. In fact, if you take a look at Docker, then you see a new Docker container with a different name for you. But the point is, if you look at the image name, you see Visual Studio Code Airflow. So you have this new Docker container with Visual Studio Code connected. Back to the DAC code, the warnings are gone. But if you try to, let's say, use the bash operator by typing from Airflow and dot, you don't have the auto-completion yet. To fix that, you need to go back to the extensions and look for Python and install this extension in the dev container. So you click on install and wait a little bit until this is done. Now that the Python extension is installed, if you go back to your DAC code, this time the color has changed. So you have the syntax color, but more importantly, if you type from Airflow and dot, you have the auto completion. So let's see for the bash operator, let's say Airflow operators, then bash, and then import bash operator. I want to use it. So in the DAC code, I can type bash operator and the task ID equals to whatever I want, then the bash command and so on. So this is truly amazing because finally you have access to Airflow imports and the auto-completion as well. But we are not done yet. Remember that this Visual Studio code is running in a new Docker container with Airflow installed. And so if you want to, let's say, interact with a new provider, then you will need to install that provider for this Docker container. For example, you want to interact with Airbyte. If you type from Airflow, then providers.airbyte, you don't have it. Wait, what you are about to see is specific for the Astro CLI. So if you don't use it, you can go to the following time code and I will show you how to enable the auto completion with the Airflow Docker Compose file. So you need to install it first. And for that, you open a terminal. And as you can see by the prompt, you are inside this Docker container where Airflow is installed. And then you type pip install providers airbyte. Hit enter. 
and wait a little bit and as you can see the airbyte provider has been successfully installed and at this point you might think that it works but actually it doesn't if you type airflowproviders.ai airbyte doesn't show up why well to be honest i have no idea i tried so many things to make the auto completion works but for some reason it doesn't in fact i even tried to add the path where this provider has been installed you can verify that by typing pip show and then apache airflow providers airbyte and you see that it has been installed at the following location so i was like okay let's add this path to the python extension so i went to the python extension in the settings and then under remote edit settings i added the following path this one and i did the same thing for the workspace as you can see here but again it didn't work for some reason the only workaround that i found is to open the docker file and add the following commands basically we install the airbyte provider under the astro user at the following location and then we use the root account in order to copy the airbyte provider from this location into that location and that location is where you can find all the pre-installed airflow providers as you can see here from the terminal if you type pip show apache airflow providers amazon you see that this one is at the following location and finally we use the astro user again as we don't want to stay logged as the root user i know it's not that clean also you might think okay why not using target instead of doing this copy for some reason it didn't work again but if you find a better solution please let me know in the comment section below i would love to use a better solution but for now if you save the file and then click in the bottom left corner on dev container and rebuild the container after a few seconds you will have a new window and if you go back to your DAC code and type airflow providers dot this time you have airbyte and finally the auto completion for this new provider by the way so far we've been using the sh terminal which is not convenient so if you don't want to use that one and use bash instead you can just type slash bin bash and you use the bash terminal okay now you may wonder does everything we've seen in that video apply to the airflow docker compose file well let's find out this time we only have the airflow docker compose file that you can find in the airflow documentation right there then the next step is to create a docker file so add a new file in your directory called docker file and then you type from apache slash airflow you specify the version you want in this case let's use the latest one 272 then like with the astro cli if you want to install a new provider and get the auto completion for it you need to install that new provider from your docker file so under this line you type run pip install then let's say the airbyte provider so apache airflow providers airbyte and that's it you save the file and now in the bottom left corner you click here add dev container configuration files you select from docker file okay and wait a little bit you might see this file corresponding to the settings of your dev container and if you are not connected as shown in the bottom left corner you see we don't have any connection here then you need to click here again and reopen in container then wait and now you have a new window that is connected to your dev container and at this point the next step is to install the python extension so you get the auto completion so you look for python in the extensions select this one then install in dev container now the extension is installed go back to your files create a new folder dags in it you create my dag py and if you type from airflow you don't have any auto completion why because you need to change the python interpreter that the python extension uses and for that at the bottom right corner you have this click here and select python 3.8 and this time you see airflow has a new color and if you type airflow providers dot you see airbyte and you have the auto completion now let's say you want to navigate in your dev container for that you can open a terminal by clicking terminal and new terminal and as you can see with ls you are inside your dev containers but if you want to open a terminal in your machine this time you hit ctrl shift p or command shift p and you look for 
create a new integrated terminal local. Click that and now you have a terminal in your local machine. Last but not least, if you want to use this Docker file as the Docker image of your Docker Compose file, then open the Docker Compose file and uncomment this line and comment this one. Then you save the file and if you want to disconnect from the dev container, you just need to click in the bottom left corner and click on close remote connection so you are back to your machine. If you want to reopen your dev container, again, bottom left corner, click on it and reopen in container. So that's it. At this point, you know exactly how to configure Visual Studio Code with Airflow running in Docker so you get access to the auto completion and you remove all the warnings that you may get because of imports that Visual Studio Code is not able to find. So congratulations, you have a fully functional Airflow environment with Visual Studio Code configured and Airflow running in Docker. I see you in the next video.